It's hard to believe that there was a time when girls were not encouraged to play sports. It's true. Athletic programs funded by the U.S. government were once for boys only. That was the rule. Girls were told no chasing, no stretching, no kicking, no pushing, no splashing, and never ever sweat. Historically, the boys' only rule goes way back to the early days of civilization. That's right. In ancient Greece, women were executed just for watching the early Olympic Games. No girl competitors allowed. Men only. Still, girls said try and stop us, and they ran foot races and private festivals for Hera, queen of the gods. Later in 1896, during the first modern Olympic Games, female marathoner Melfani made officials eat her dust, denied the opportunity to compete. She defied the rules by running the entire race alongside the men. When refused entry onto the field for the final lap, Mopomini ran around the entire stadium instead. The race to breaking barriers was underway. Yesterday's question, as a judge, she was considered part of the Supreme Court's moderate liberal bloc, presenting a strong voice in favor of gender equality. The rights of, a, of workers in separation of church and state. The answer to yesterday's question was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ginsburg became the court's second female justice as well as the first Jewish female justice. As judge, Ginsburg was, was considered part of the Supreme Court's moderate liberal bloc, presenting a strong voice in favor of gender equality the rights of workers, and separation of church and state. Today's question is, she was an American author, activist, civil rights leader, and the wife of Martin Luther King Jr. As an advocate for African American equality, she was a leader for the civil rights movement in the 1960s. She was also a singer who often incorporated music into her civil rights work. Who was she? school if you are in fifth through eighth grade and would like to be a part of the marketing and business management club and are interested in serving coffee here at holly hill school come join us 7 15 thursday morning for our first meeting and we will be serving our first coffee staff on friday morning donations only and it's still oak can't wait to see you on this day in 1862, during the American Civil War, the Ironclad Monitor and Virginia, formerly Merrimack, battled in the harbor of the Hampton Roads, Virginia, marking the beginning of a new era of naval warfare. Hi everyone, as you know, March is Women's History Month. We will have a 500 word essay contest on a woman that has made a great impact on your life. The winner of this contest will receive either a $25 cash prize or a $25 gift card. For more information, please see Ms. Davis. Thank you. Need a proficiency with 70% or higher and join us on the back patio March 17th for a rocking good time with music and shamrock ice cream floats. Hello, middle school students. If you are a reading student in either my class, Mrs. Silver's class, Mrs. Gerson, or Mrs. Stafford, and you do the Achieve 3000 curriculum, you have been entered into a competition to win a party for your class. Now, here are the rules. The competition starts on March 8th, and it goes until April 9th. And the competition is based on your quiz scores for Achieve 3000. And every student has to take at least two quizzes per week until April 9th. And then we'll see who the winning class is. And it's definitely going to be Mrs. Dover's reading class. No. I cannot wait for my class to win. No way! So my, class. my class is definitely going to win. Uh-uh. My I, class. My class has this. My classes are awesome. They got this. This year? Yes, I'm very excited for tryouts this year. Um, you know, unlike last year, when we got to this point, we had tryouts and then the school year was um, changed. So, yes, I'm very excited for tryouts this year. Are you looking for anybody special this year? Um, no, not really. I'm just looking forward to motivated girls, girls that are ready to come out and play. Why did you decide to become a basketball coach? I decided to become a basketball coach because I love basketball. I love teaching it and I love introducing um, people to it that have never played the sport before. 
shooting this year. Last year, due to COVID, we were not allowed to play. That's it? About tryouts. Bro, I welcome every young man with a 2.0 to try out for the team. All right, I think we're going to have a good bunch of boys this year that make it, and I'm looking forward to it. Is there anybody I'm particular? Is there anybody particular? Uh, I see a lot of potential, but no, I can't say until after trial. Okay, thank you. You're quite welcome. Do you have the right stuff with transition words? Here are some introduction words to a new paragraph. Here are some easy ones. First, to start off, to begin with. But let's make it even stronger. First and foremost, previously, as stated before. Stay tuned for some more right stuff. <laughs> 